Hey YouTube, David Chen here. Boy, it's been a while since my last regular YouTube video, and I wanted to start this review video of The Little Mermaid by explaining what's going on. Uh, the reason I haven't been around is just I've spent a lot of time being sucked into making videos for other apps like Instagram and TikTok. If you want to follow me on there, I'll leave links to that below. But uh, those apps make it really easy and fun to make a video. Like in 20 seconds, you can make a video and then it can reach a million people. That's just a lot harder to do on a platform like YouTube. When I sit down to make a YouTube video, I get really in my head about, oh, the, the length of the video needs to be a certain way and the thumbnail needs to look a certain way and the quality needs to be a certain level. And I didn't feel that pressure with the other apps. But then what ended up happening is I didn't make any videos for five to six months here on my YouTube channel. And that kind of stinks. So as of today, I'm gonna to start trying something new. I'm gonna to try to make one video and basically re-edit it. YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok post on all three platforms. That does mean that these videos on YouTube are gonna be rougher, they're gonna be shorter than they would otherwise be, but it does mean that hopefully there'll be a lot more of them. And so I'm willing to give this a shot. I would love to hear your feedback on the approach. Hit me up in the comments below, let me know what you think. So all that being said, let's get to today's topic. The Little Mermaid is my favorite live action remake that they've done so far but I didn't love it. Let's talk about it. The greatest thing about this new version of The Little Mermaid is Halle Bailey who plays Ariel. I got chills listening to her rendition of Part of This World, and not only is she an amazing singer, but she also infuses this character with a sense of awe and wonder that is just irresistible and very compelling. It is worth watching this movie just to see what Halle Bailey can bring to this iconic character. A close second, by the way, is Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. That was such an amazing, memorable character in the original animated film. And Melissa McCarthy just brings so much of this role. She is chewing up that scenery and her performance is delicious. The Little Mermaid really makes some meaningful changes to the original story. And one of the key elements that it changes is Eric's story. This new version of The Little Mermaid dramatically expands Eric's backstory and it gives him some meaningful context and some goals. You learn more about his family and what he's trying to achieve in his kingdom. On the flip side, it also emphasizes Ariel's fascination with the human world versus just she has a crush on some guy. Now, there's a trade-off to all this, which is that the movie's like 45 minutes longer than the original, and you may not find those additions to be worth it. But for me, I found it to be at least a somewhat refreshing take on this character, and I also found that it's somewhat justified doing a live-action remake at all. But at the end of the day, I have disliked, if not outright hated, most of these Disney live-action remakes. Remakes. They are mostly artistically bankrupt, devoid of any new ideas, and they frequently make elements from the original animated films worse. A lot of attention has been given to the visuals of this movie, and I do have to say, I find them to be moderately upsetting. The merpeople all look great, but having sea creatures as some of your major characters just doesn't make sense. Fish are many things. They are amazing, wondrous creatures. But one thing they don't have is very expressive faces. If you are making this movie from the ground up, it just wouldn't make sense to have a fish be one of the major characters of the film. It looks awful. Thunder just looks terrible compared to who he was in the original, and that is a bummer. In the original movie, the area under the sea looks colorful and vibrant. Here, it looks bleak and depressing. Not all things from an animated film are meant to be adapted for live action, but none of the Disney movies learn this lesson. They're gonna adapt them no matter what. And what you end up with is something that feels like a cover band, but they're using completely different instruments and not all of them sound good. So at the end of the day with The Little Mermaid, I actually thought it was kind of decent and would recommend it for people who were fans of the original. But I really don't like this project of remaking Disney movies into live action. I really wish the folks at Disney would let the people who direct these movies have a whole fresh take on these stories. Because with their current approach, the best these movies can ever be is a pale imitation. I'm David Chen. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, comment, etc. See you in the next one.